Yes, oh. we are live back for something very important that I forgot. That we can thank Shamao for. As previous arc, she got to determine who experiences the river dreams. Ooh, Ooh I don't know what that is, but I'm interested. So, Xerxes, after everything that happened at the tower, at the... Uh, during the day at the uh, at the scourge camp, seeing your uncle, at some point you have to rest and you have to sleep. Mm -hmm. But as you sleep, and uh, and uh, and uh, come into your dreams, you wake up in a different location, a sunny area. Mm. A river by the side of the desert. Still very lively. Uh, but you see and hear from your dream screams. Whoop. You see a chained up a large uh, lion woman with blue skin chained up her feet her arms chained to the ground a collar around her neck also chained to the ground and you see multiple uh, bird-like creatures uh one two three four five six seven eight eight of them With talons on their feet and beaks, you basically see uh, them uh, torturing her, her in the most horrific sense. They're tearing her apart. Uh, can I understand any type of language being used? They are using. They are saying it in a Sharon. Then, because do, what do I have? Anything? Uh, yeah, you have all your abilities in the dream world. Well, my first thing is, like, I want to... I understand this lady's in peril, but where where are my companions? I want to look around. It looks like I'm in tall grass. Mm -hmm. Is it above my head? Yes. Oh, <laughs> dang it. So I'm going to look the opposite direction and point out and use message and go, Grimlock? No, we're Grimlock. fine. And that's just in, just not in that direction, then. Uh, could I? Because every time I've come across an animal person, uh -huh. they, have, they have been godly. Could I do a religion check, maybe, and see if this large feline person, because I'm, like, having to peel apart the grass a little bit to even see, to see if either her or the jailers, it looks like they're called, mm -hmm. are some kind of divine being go ahead and make it uh would that be arcana no, or that, religion, be, uh, I mean, religion i specifically asked for religion yeah. and then i went for something else oh, i had it uh, um i don't want to give away my position so i won't cast anything else so straight religion not bad you know, she definitely has the form as as you've seen raufna and his avatar a shark man and you've yeah. seen Shamao, and you've interacted with Shamao for a while. She and these uh, birds definitely have a divine spark around them. Then the, I would uh, like the, to the, the woman seems to, the tigress, or the uh, lioness, seems mm -hmm. to have a very powerful divine spark around her, but okay. she her powers are limited by the chains around her body. You can see that, like, one of them is basically uh, like they have their claws or, or their talons in her f in her flesh and like break it off. Okay. Uh, so you see that uh, she is regenerating it a little bit, and every time oh. it comes back, they just claw it off again. Uh, okay. Some of them have their uh, their beak inside of her stomach and basically pull out their intestines. As you see, the basically a very uh, Prometheus uh, torture uh, okay. device here. Then I would like to 
broadcast message to her and say, ma'am, please do not panic. I'm going to attempt to rescue you, but if I am to use magic, are you willing and will it even work with those shackles on? Please know I am here to help you. You just, uh, you just hear screams as a reply back. Okay. Well, I would like to send Kara in her bird form, like, shooting across. Like, you know uh, when somebody uh, is hunting pheasants and they shoot up out of the out of the grass? Or bird hunting, you know how they'll just go up in a flock? I would like to send her up, but at an angle to maybe catch their their attention, and she's going to call out because she's back to her natural form, which apparently has the same screaming range that you can hear it within a mile because these things are so loud. <laughs> so it just... One of them turns around as it stops, looks just at Kara. One and flaps his wings and flies towards Kara. All right. The others continue. Uh, the, the shackles on the lady, they are shackled to the ground. Yes. So I'm not, and this is that night, so I don't have my, my level up stuff, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. So I'm going to at least try, like peeking through the grass, I'm gonna reach out with my hand and attempt to cast Vortex Warp. And as you do that, go ahead and make a charisma saving throw. Absolutely. Just a straight charisma save? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That is a failure. Oh. As you take... 20 radiant damage from a solar flare that comes uh, that comes from the sky and you wake up in your bed again feeling the burns of the radiant damage on your body so it like hit me from up above so mm -hmm. i could have like burns down the face or something yeah. or okay so just oh! and i just where was I sleeping? Uh, I assume in your uh, on your couch. On my couch. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't like just pass out somewhere. So I'm like immediately gonna scurry up the uh, the back there, the little railing that's there. You see now that and it is now uh, early in the morning. And then I'll look over to where Shy Mao sleeps in the boat, little boat. Is Shy Mao asleep? Uh. Morning person or evening person? Oh, uh, wow. Well, cats are a special kind of thing, which is like they're they're active in the evening and the morning when the sun is rising and setting, because mm -hmm. that's when so their eyes are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, yeah. <laughs> Stupid cat. Oh. Yeah. I Actual cat. <laughs> that, yeah. that, 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 that was horny. Hey, don't that, that is, me. <laughs> that, that is cat, and that's how she might react when you try to wake her up. <laughs> I've got the new rescue outside, and they're so freaked out about there being a very large bird outside, so they're fighting each other. Angel, you go lay down, you old blind hellion. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. See it? Um, so I'm just. Mouth, shy mouth. Yeah. But, 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 yes, I'm... Bird, people, lion, lady, uh, calm down. I, I had a really... And I'm going to lower my voice where it's just us at this point now. I had a really mm -hmm. weird dream. Uh, if I... And I will use minor illusion if I can to make a little image of this person's face the best I could. I, I saw this person in... I I tried to rescue her, and then I was blasted with magic, kind of like, kind of like what Amon Hotep does. Do I recognize this? <laughs> you can make a religion check. A religion check. 
Nope. I understand. I just maybe it was just a weird things have been crazy lately. I'll okay. Hmm. Let's, let's keep it with us at right least. Now. Could I recognize him as like an old god? Maybe no. You do. They you do have your sorcery ability like. in this case. That's true. I could re-roll it. I will re-roll it. There's no. <laughs> if I'm allowed with my sorcery ability. Please, please uh, focus. I'll give you bardic inspiration. Ooh. Well, this is not Tori. This is definitely an old god. Oh. From the from the from the being that you don't, you still do not know her name. But Ooh. you know that uh lions represent great power when it comes to the old gods. Only I don't uh, know the, the the greatest power among the old gods when associated with animals. Are lions and eagles? I don't. I don't even know why I had this dream. I mean, they they joked about me being a, a prophet like my brother, but till I can get this lined out, can can we keep this between us? Just there's so much craziness going on. Chime out. I don't. Let's focus on the task at hand and getting these people safe. If this is just affecting mm -hmm. me, then. We'll leave it at Definitely that. Definitely an old god, but not one I know. But there, there were these things that looked like your new friend, except not metal. E eagles. I don't know. I I've never seen an eagle. Those are like the two most powerful. I will. I will animal. once again do a minor mm -hmm. illusion. My th this is definitely troubling. But how? It could just be a dream, but at the same time. Maybe from now on, I sleep a little bit closer to you and Hori. Well, perhaps we should uh, ask my mother about it. Playing from Fire Tablet. When we visit. Yeah, that's. That, that sounds good. I was kind of against, I'll admit, I was against going to her because I don't know how Hekka would feel with me going in the presence of other gods. Hmm, that is true. But she's, but Hekka isn't like a vengeful guy. It's just all things that are magic are of her creation, or so we were taught. So even, mm -hmm. even your minor magic, the magics that the other party members use are all part of her, but... If, if I'm not very vocal, if we go to meet her, please understand. I will understand. Yeah. I'm going to go will... the rest of, And I'll pull my yeah. hood and show you the, the scorch mark. What? This... What did it you get? From the dream. From... Hmm. Um... This I'm is no mere think, dream. I know Xerxes has taken Radiant. Oh, remember when we were fighting those... Uh, those evil holy men, and they summoned the spirits around them, mm. and and the the damage kind of similar to what I can do with guiding bolt and stuff. The the damage, divine radiant damage, I guess it's called. Mm. It felt yeah. like that. Like, yeah. and, but radiant is a thing of good beings. Yes. I think... I think we definitely need to get some I, more information and aid on this. I didn't want to trouble you, but you're... I'll, mm. I'll be honest again, I kind of doubted any avatars could actually exist because I had never really heard much of them. My family... Well, not family. My uncles. Mm. We're always followers of, I guess, what you call the new gods, like Hekka and mm. no in a name here, but the god of thievery and the god of the, the god of lies. <laughs> yes, but well, uh, I'm 
happy you came to me, especially if you're taking damage in your sleep. It might be best for keeping this just between the two of us. I think it's best if you are going to sleep or to take a rest that we do so together so that I can keep well, an eye on you. I'm not opposed to telling Amon or the others, but I just don't want to be very loud about it here. Yeah. And I kind of look All over right. to like whoever of our group is on watch, like Fenir or Bullbug or something. All right. We'll keep if it Bullbug between... The... I was being attacked in my sleep. He would try to climb in my head and kill my dreams. Yes, and I do not <laughs> think he would, he would fit in <laughs> through your okay. ear. But we can clue the others in in time, but yeah. let's figure out the right words, because if it's something just affecting me, it's mm. not an immediate necessity. I'll just make sure that I'm healthy before I go to bed. Your uh, injury might suggest different. Some way, maybe I can figure out some way to protect my body against that kind of damage. Mm. But I yeah. don't know. I, had I finished my long rest, Yannick? Or... Yeah, you had a successful long rest. Okay. Well, mm. I'm, I'm awake. And I know we can't go off the ship, but I was going to go wake up mm. Bullbug, and maybe I can pass this off as him bouncing me off the deck of the well, ship. I think we should let the core group know, and we should probably set up yeah. some sort of watch rotation to keep an eye on you whilst you sleep. In case you start well, taking more damage, perhaps we'll be able to wake you up before anything serious. Or well, I was more serious. To even suggest I don't know if it would even work, but once we get a basic idea, I know that Grimlock can do like I can and go into somebody's thoughts. I wonder mm. if he couldn't look in while I'm sleeping. I don't really know the extent of the spell. It's fairly new to me, although I use it for different things. I mainly use it to snoop. Yes. But 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 and I hold Perhaps. up a hand. I promise you I have not done it on you. Of course not. I would know. It, but this is serious. Perhaps... Let the yeah. next time we'll, we all have a little bit of time away mm. from everything. Let, give me a little while to think about exactly how I want to say this. Very well. Maybe our new friend might even have something... This affects you. It affects you, so I'll I'll follow your lead on it. But uh, we definitely should let the core group of Grimlock uh, and the Monotep know. Yeah. And Next perhaps... time we're all done, let's for now. Let's. I don't know how Fenir would react after her incident, and I know she's protective of me. <laughs> I know this sounds uh, crazy. Like in timeline, she's currently dead still. Oh, yes. Shit. Okay, never mind. Well, hopefully I have a lead we on that. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, well, here, take this, and I'll hand you the diamond. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> uh, five months later, Fenir is alive again. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we can find somebody powerful enough to, to bring her back because I'm tired of losing friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to go see if Bullbug <laughs> wants to beat the crap out of me for a little while. Okay. Make sure oh. that it's a healer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a healer. He definitely oh. wants to. Sparring is always good. Mm -hmm. um, day goes on quite normally with all sorts of things that happen and not happen, and uh, there's also time to relax. And mm -hmm. uh, as it is the end of the day again, the end of the day, you wake up again in that same desert. Same situation. Identical to everything? Yeah. Okay, well, I would have definitely told Chime Out when I was going to bed. Oh, yeah, that's no mm. problem. And then this time, because it seems to be repeating, and I'm an intelligent being, so I'm going to try to just take in all of the information I can about these two groups. You know what I mean? Hmm. Weapons, jewelry, anything like that. And it seemed like last time, as soon as I made a move, I got attacked. So 
You can make a uh, insight check. Um, okay. Uh, not with my new insight, right? Because we'll have to decrease it by. Yeah. We'll have to decrease it by. Yeah, I just roll it and we'll decrease one. it. Yeah. Roll this minus three. I monkey have a pretty good idea as who this might be, but for now, definitely no, does. Uh, Twenty-six. <laughs> Jesus. That is still good enough to get a good reading on this. Uh, the jailers, the uh, the ones that basically torture her, you get a mm -hmm. feel like they are like basically programmed to keep doing this constantly. It's like as if it's their their only purpose in life. Okay. To keep her, to keep her, robotic. to keep her chained up, and to keep constantly torturing her. Okay. And they like, you as you observe from? them, they like, they just never stop. They don't even take breaks. They they rip off. The only moment that they stop is when they see her regenerating, just to do it again at the same spot. Like one of them, like constantly uses his beak. To gouge out her eyes, then stares at her, uh, stares at her other eye, to wait until the eye yeah. regrows to pick out the eye again. On so... her side, you just see pure desperation and fear, and, uh, and because at some point a bit of mania because it's like twenty-four hour torture is not something that. Yeah. Um, real quick, can I roll my portents for the day because I oh, was yeah, still yeah, at no zero. Problem. Everybody will see these, but I don't care. Don't really matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A six and a fifteen. That'll work. Because I may end up using one. Um, I would like because before I felt like something attacked my very consciousness. That's how I see Christmas savings. I was working kind of. Mm -hmm like my essence i would like to bless myself mm -hmm. is there any because the, there are verbal components is there any nope nothing uh, okay. yeah, the, the bless my... works but that's about it okay well i wanted to see if it was just casting any spell did it or bless works perfectly fine currently as you cast it okay. on yourself I'm going to send Kara to fly over and even attempt to touch her. All right. Kara touches her. She flies over. The mm -hmm. uh, the jailers first look up at Kara, a bit confused and curious. And as Tara Kara touches her, Kara disintegrates and you disintegrate and you feel that same pain again that same solar flare she 20 takes points six again. uh as he takes six uh radiant damage and wake up the next okay. morning again and the set so, uh, you've had a full long rest but after your long rest you get six radiant damage and you feel the same okay. scorch marks again oh. <laughs> And, like, if Shy Mao's not directly there, I grab a journal I had set aside so I could dream journal this. Mm -hmm. And I just start writing every bit of it down that I can possibly remember before it fades, like dreams will do. Mm -hmm. If I am, I'll probably fall asleep myself. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> I said, morning, Xerxes. How oh, goes I didn't it? Know. I didn't know if you was even there. Mm. Uh, I'm assuming I'm on the ship. <laughs> mm. Definitely on the ship, so you could have just passed. Okay. Uh, trying to Did figure we... some... Trying to figure something out. Please don't pry for a second. Okay. You need to watch out for that sunburn. It's pretty bad. It keeps on yeah, going. Something like that. And I, I apologize, that wasn't meant to be rude. I have to process something before I can put it into words. Shy Mao, we I... might as well clue the others in. Mm, uh, it's, oh, okay. Get, 
can you go get Grimlock? I'm not sure where our new friend is, but whomever. And we'll, we'll meet oh. somewhere. New friend is very uh, efficiently drilling our troops. I will leave them to that. <laughs> He's training them on proper patrol routes so that they uh, yeah. they, they don't get uh, they don't get shanked in the wrong alleyway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I I will gather up uh, the team and uh, I will fill in uh, Xerxes, uh, Amonhotep, and Grimlock on what you've told me about the dream. I've got a little mirror out. Mm. Ah, weird. Indeed. Yeah, but I think it's best we just keep this between us as a group. I wanted to make sure it was going to happen mm. a second night before I really made a big deal because I I have mm. terrible luck, so it could have been a one-off thing. Mm. But yeah. I did. Mm. Sorry. I, I did pick up a bit more information, Shaimao. Intriguing. To tell. And I will just fill in all the new stuff while I'm dream journaling. I'm I'm explaining, but I want my own copy of this for when it fades from memory. <laughs> they just every time she would start to heal, they would once again go to her. I was able to cast a spell at a distance and with verbal components. And most of the time, if you do that, you'll catch somebody's attention. But as soon as I sent Kara, Kara, and I will snap and see if I can summon her or if she is. She's gone. gone. She's gone, gone. Okay. Yes. You have to do a new uh, ritual yep. cost to I, uh, summon her. I will sit there while explaining and do that just so I can apologize to her. I will take off one compartment, but this so will you, take an hour, but I'm BSing with the group. So so uh, if uh, if you tell all this to Damon Hotep and everything you've done up to this point, he will say the following. Well, it seems like these dreams are for you to help rescue this young lady. Um, I might be able to assist. I could cast less, uh, uh, protection from good and evil on you before you go to sleep. Maybe that will help you inside of your dreams. I I don't know. Uh, uh, it will last an hour or so. And I'm going to be honest. I'm more of the uh, fight fighty type. So I will say this. Yeah, when that's you said not going to work. No, no. Listen to me. You said that Kara was able to pull one of these things away. From their, uh, from the person. It Have you know? If you could drag one of these things away at a time and destroy them one at a time quietly, you might be able to save her. Mm. Even yeah. that was, you cannot touch her. Uh, I've tried that with Kara. I, I tried uh, warping I, her. I just would like to say something like I understand the idea of helping people and all that but do we know what we're putting our foot in? Mm. Oh, obviously not but uh, I'm just saying this presence is, is a divine presence we seem to be dealing with a lot of divine presences lately and having oh, one okay. on our side might be oh. a good thing well, yes, but also knowing I'm the also... intentions and motives of for such a creature like this is, uh, from your descriptions, a divine punishment of a kind, and maybe freeing this creature could cause calamity or could cause greatness. This well, either that's... I'm just saying these are like things that should be said, not necessarily my, things that have to be said. My plan was to see how long I could stay with that happening before I'm drawn out again. Uh, Perhaps this location you are being sent to is a physical location in the world. Maybe make note of any landmarks or uh, anything to help features, us. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I do. There is one other thing. Remember this old book I have about 
avatars and deities from Ashara? No. No? <laughs> I forgot about it, but yeah. I have used this, yeah, yeah, I have used this many times before. Maybe we, do you have a good description? Maybe we can look through the book and try to find out who she is. Sure, let's take mm-hmm. through, let's look through the book. Mm. You, uh, look through the book and, uh, don't find anything. Only that you know that that you found what uh, Shamal already confirmed. When it comes to old god power, lions and and eagles are the apex of power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That no, that's kind of also thing well, you have to think about. You... You know, if they're the I, ape- I, if they're both apexes, and I know they'll be fair ones are jailers, but whoever has jailed them is most likely, you know, the other half of that equation. I understand about why it's happening. Mm. That's did fair. you try to mint? You tried to did... mentally contact her, right? I did Wait. mentally contact her, and if... you immediately got scorched. No. Did she respond I... to you? I heard no different than what she was verbally doing because with the message spell, you have to actually say something. She was too busy screaming in pain. But I've also made poor judgment in helping the wrong person in similar situations before. I kind of want to figure out who's in the wrong here. Um, Okay. The, the, The ruin. Maybe. I don't know. The ruin? Oh, you mean that we visited? There was a there was a story in there. Uh, thinking back to the story in the ruin about uh the uh what was it? It was the old god of like the sun and the old god of like the moon. Raheru and Chinafir, the sun god and the moon goddess. Yeah. I take notes. Does does any of this ring a bell with that? (laughs) Potentially. Potentially. You know from the uh, ruins that uh, Rahiru, uh, the husband of Shah Nefer, convinced uh, their was it? Where did it run? I'm, now I'm pulling up my own notes. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. there, uh, there are four sons to team up with him to capture their mother and his wife and to imprison her for uh, uh, outglorying Ra Hiru. Do we know what type of app? Uh... No. Uh, animal sheep was. Uh, no. Yeah. Though we could, though, like a logical assumption could be of like such powerful concepts that they would also be yeah. people power in uh, sheep. That obviously is a big. That's a an assumption. I'm not saying that's the truth, but you know what I mean. That's a fair thing. I can say. I'm just saying. That's that and that have been. Yeah. Scorching sunlight coming down on, <laughs> on our fair little boy. Yeah. You know, but kind of points to that. Happening to me, it's not happening to someone else. Hopefully, so. Hmm. I I guess I I could offer this. I don't know if it would be work or not, Xerxes. But as you do know, I do have the ability to at least pick up some of these thoughts. I don't know how it could work, but we could attempt to. I could attempt to listen into your thoughts while this is happening. I, I look at Shimao. We, we had a similar of... idea. Oh, really? That's too fascinating. Um, <laughs> and by we, I mean Xerxes. Uh, it's up to you. I don't want to invade your privacy, but it would be at least... I, I don't know if I would be there or if I would just be seeing or hearing. I, I don't really understand exactly what happened, but I could give it a shot. Yeah, that's my only worry, is there are parts of my memory and history that even I don't. Don't know, and I don't want it to be something that could 
hinder you in the long run or anything. Well, I could, I guess, to be fair, I, at least when it comes to the way it works for me, uh, let me just check the spell description. You learn surface thoughts uh, with most minds. So I'm just checking here. You could shift your attention to another creature's thoughts. So, well, what was the goddess's name again? Sorry. Shot of fear. Yeah, I probably spelled that wrong, but oh well. Uh, yes. Ah. Has Zerxes, I have. <laughs> Zerxes, while all this is going on, I, I will say this to you. Your brother has taken a lot of things from you. Don't let him take away your ability to trust people. He's not worth it. In fairness, it wasn't him that initiated this distrust. Whoever did that, it, again, is not worth it. I've learned that, but thank you, Amon. I just, I kind of hope it doesn't happen every night, because I'm getting tired of this. Well, I wish I could take over for you, but I cannot. But... I know, and like I've said before, I'd much rather it happen to me than than anyone else but also i'm very rarely without a plan and mm -hmm. other than letting grimlock and do any of you have a way to on this side just as a test protect my physical body from whatever that kind of damage is i i might there is a possibility i was just literally looking over my spell list to see Hold on for a moment, my friend. Just an idea. Or I'm not sure who else amongst the crew to even ask about it. We don't have anybody other than those gathered here that's I, exceptionally there is, religious. There is, there is something I could technically do to help with the damage, though it would be something I'd want back afterwards. But um, if you don't mind an ear piercing, this... We and he takes three on each side. <laughs> uh, he takes it. He takes off. Uh, he takes off his like. Well, he uses a nose ring. Take that as you will. Um, oh. And it this this magical item can, it, when invoked, can uh, it does require attunement. But if when invoked, can give you resistance, or if you basically use it more better, <laughs> bonus action essentially, mm -hmm. you you yeah. can be immune to damage. Except for uh, psychic and bludgeoning, but otherwise, your speed becomes zero for the period of the time. But you know, for a could, while though, it well, it could it basically works for one turn, six seconds. Uh, but then you can react. You can use your reaction essentially to give yourself resistance anytime you want. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. can actually cast three things that will help you, uh, possibly help you. But I have to do so as you fall to sleep. But there are things thing, things that can help you. I I it seems that I at least wake up. Um, just in case, I'll dig out one of the three hundred gold piece diamonds and I'll hand it to Grimlock, just in case. No problem. Um, if I will be honest, I've been toying with new magic. And so if I haven't quite mastered them yet, but I remember when we could reach out to, with the sending spell to Kareem. Yes. I'm wondering if once I learn enough about this being, if when I'm awake, I could reach out to her and maybe she is also sleeping and having this dream. That's actually a fair point. You could reach them that way, possibly. But... I I still need some study to learn this spell. It's something I told you I'd been working on, but no, not fine. quite there yet. Yeah. In other words, we haven't officially leveled up yet, so I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a part of like Grimlock that like looks like he seems to like take out something, but puts it back in his pack for now. And he goes, "Well, the best if you want to try this earring, you can. But if you don't need, you don't feel like it's useful, you can just like it's fine." Uh, but just in case, because that's something very useful to you. I don't want 
But you're only using it. Happen and me get trapped in the dream and not able to come. I'm just, well, your physical I'm body is still be. here. I know, but to be fair, your physical body's here. So, like, I could so, rip it off your corpse if it were necessary. So, uh, yes, I do have three, uh, three spells that can help you and possibly help you. One of which will give you resistance to the type of uh, radiant damage. That would help, but it seems no matter what, when that hits me, because the last time it was on, it was through Kara, and it was a very light touch compared to the first one. Uh, I will uh, need to hold your hand, though, but other yeah, than that, well, it would be fine. We can wait till this evening before I go to bed, and however you all want to do it, between yes. that and I, I'm going to dig out. I hate to use stuff without, because we know that Kara is not there, had been destroyed. So some things that affect in the, in the dream are real life affected. So I'm afraid if I use a spell scroll in there, it'll be used up. It'll be gone because I was thinking about mm -hmm. taking spiritual guardian in with me. Mm -hmm. I think for now, as much identifying information as we can get yeah. is best. Mm -hmm. And the attack seems to be coming from the sky, not from hmm. the creatures. Hmm. So I'm wondering if I can't just... There's a possibility you might be able to undo her chains. Uh, that these jailers are only there to attack her and not to touch anything yeah. else. Well, mm. if I can get close enough, I have a magical spell that is very, very loud, but it can unlock mm. something. That mm. might be your best much, bet. I don't think it much matters in a dream. <laughs> well, if it unlocks but, something and the, those chains are locked around her. I will mm. ask, do you all know of anyone else on the crew that might have any experience with dreams or anything? No. Mm. There's no. a specific type of druid that is very good with dreams. But I yeah, do we not think have we have those. one of those. No. I think just let it, let's see what you can get this time. We'll try our abilities and see what happens. I can make you smell like lavender to help you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just give Shaimao a hug. <laughs> I needed a laugh. Thank you, Shaimao. Uh -huh. um, so the spell I'm going to attempt to use, it's called Knock. It's typically used on a door or other locked device. But as long as it's something with a lock, it may work. And however you guys want to go about this, because I'll be honest, this, I'm getting flustered enough with this that it's making me hard, uh, making it hard for me to plan things. So I, I think... <laughs> Your best bet is I'm to go sorry. invisible, get as close as you can, knock, and run like fuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. But I oh. have something that would, uh, pr I have several things that would probably help you. I, I, I Yeah, yeah, they, they would help. Uh, I may not have mentioned this part, but there's a river in between where I go in at and them. I just thought of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what could be in the river or anything, but just trying to go across all of our options. I don't, as I'm starting to wake up, it becomes, I'm not sure if they had weapons or she was much larger than them, I I think. Uh, mm -hmm. If Grimlock had cast water walking on you, or water breathing, to uh, that might help. If there's a river, walking, yeah. probably be best. I could attempt to make you extra tiny. I don't know if that will carry out in your dreams it's, for like a minute. I hope you can sneak the more, closer. <laughs> the more stuff we throw in, we can at least test. Mm. Okay. I, I think I yes. had access to the sending spell so that when I was in there, I could see if I could communicate with you all. Like mm -hmm. I am in a diff that would let me know if I'm on the same plane of existence at least. Well, let yeah. us not try to overthink it too much. We all have our plans. 
Mm-hmm. And let us go about doing what we need to do. Let's do it then. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. All right. Late in the evening, Xerxes goes back to bed. I make him I smell like lavender. As, as he is. Okay. You go first. As he is falling asleep, I will cast aid at second level. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will cast uh. Protection from good and evil, which is the only concentration spell I'm going to uh, cast on him. And I will cast, without telling him that I'm casting this, and while I'm holding his hand, Warding Bond. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so he will get a plus one to AC, all his saving throws, and have resistance to all damage. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> I will take half of it. Yes. There, there is a caveat. While the target is within 60 feet of me. The thing is, I will be within 60 feet of my target. Yes. He might not be within 60 feet of me, considering the dream. I don't know how that works. Yeah, but either way. Um, I will give him uh, water walking. I know it'll be fair. I don't know. if It'll be an hour, so technically I don't know if it'll really apply. And uh, after casting water walking, I will... Uh, by my best judgment, I guess, if we put it, is try to, like, delve into his thoughts with the tech thoughts when I think he's in the in the dream state. Alright. When the snores start. Yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Xerxes falls asleep. He wakes up again in that same desert. And dependent on the spells, how long they last, Four hours have passed since you've cast those spells. So uh, anything with an effect longer than four hours does not work. Mm-hmm. Although uh, mm-hmm. Grimlock, you're, you're you have your deck thoughts, right? Yeah, I'm doing it by you're, best judgment because yeah. it's only you a can minute. Make me an so I need that okay. check to see uh, yeah. when you time it. Can I guidance myself for this or no? Uh, sure. Okay, guidance. Basically, you have guidance on yourself constantly. Come on, Xerxes, come on, Xerxes, come on, Xerxes, come on, Xerxes. Uh, ooh, an 11. Yeah, you do it at a time, and then you're like, damn, that was a random dream. That was probably not the good moment. Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, I can do it a few times if you let yeah. me. You go ahead and uh, make another insight. Okay, same thing again. Uh, oh, that, I'm not going to... That's one more spell slot. Yeah. <laughs> <Nothing. laughs> Again, one not a great more. day, Link. Come on. Nope. One more time. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you did a four one. Uh, uh, number four. You, <laughs> you just basically passed over it. Then, uh, then, uh, then, uh, yeah. Now, oh, you, now you think like, yes, try it. Yeah, D four as well, just to. And yeah. as you get into Xerxes' mind, you can see this landscape. Mm-hmm. You cannot interact with it. But you can see what's going on. Okay, I'll take that. Basically, uh, it's as if you're looking through Xerxes' eyes. Mm-hmm. As if you are yeah. currently Xerxes. Yeah. Just you have no control over your own body. Okay, that's fair. Um, I would ask the only one thing, I guess. Would... I would just be... I, mean, I know I'm not able to look around at him, but would I be able to, like, try my best to just guess what this looks like it would be or not i guess but like taking in what the actual location looks like i guess uh yeah you could uh try and observe the location and make notes yeah okay Never mind that's no problem do you make a uh, check for it or just it just happens it just happens okay good enough for me uh xerxes uh the aid will last eight hours so that's that, long. That's me. Yeah. The... all the other ones are an hour i didn't i thought he would uh yeah, go into Could I have insighted it to figure out when the cast was? Ah, uh, too late. I'll have to try that again next yeah. time. Yeah. And water walk's also gone, by the way, just yes. for reference. So I'm just going to get up, go to put my foot on the water, and realize that I'm going to go through and go nope and backpedal a little bit. And then I'm going the to. Would you like you to go back? You see that one of them uh, ripped off her tongue and like froze it into the river. I'm gonna wait to see if any fish go at it or anything. Get an idea, like if I'm going into a piranha nest or anything. 
you can't see any fish in the river. As far as you're concerned. Okay. How deep is it? I'm going to slowly start taking well, little for steps you, out. It, uh, for you, you have to swim. But if someone okay. like Omanotep was in this river, he could probably walk to the other side. And then go up to his shoulders. That's how deep it is. Alright. Um, so I'm just going to... I guess... I don't have Kara. I don't have... Well, I mean, you had time to re recast her. I, I'm limited on spell components. Mm. Oh. That that is not a cheap spell. Just okay. So I'm going to. Uh, you have ten temporary ten temporary hit points, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate it. Sure I'm going to use thaumaturgy over this direction to make a massive lion roar. Mm -hmm. They all stop for a moment and look in that reaction. And then uh, uh, two of them uh, basically grab her ears with their talons and start whapping with their wings towards that direction. Mm -hmm. As you hear the, the ears uh, rip off, they fly toward it to check it out. <sighs> All right. Um, I need to be able to get close and cast a spell. I gotta figure this out. I guess I'm going to attempt to stealthily swim. All right, go have make a stealth check. I oh, don't worry. No, wait. Uh, don't mind. Uh, don't worry. It, it, you succeed. Okay. Or wherever you were wanting to put me at. Uh, it's more like a, it's hill up, so that's where you would go up. That works. Unless okay, you're very so good hill. at climbing. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, I'm going to... Once again, but like, what would be considered like this other direction off kind of behind them? Make make what sounds like a, uh, you know how a lion will roar, then one will respond. Mm -hmm. As if they're communicating, I'm going to make that over there. And basically I'm going to do that and then I'm waiting on a chance, eyeing her chains where I can get to them the straightest way possible. Two of them fly towards that as well. Okay. Is it just one set of chains on her, or...? It is uh, a total of five chains to uh, attach to her. On her feet, on her arms, on her neck. Okay. Are they... do they all have the same lock? Uh, they don't even seem to have a lock. They're just attached, okay. closed off. I would see that as I get close, so I'm going to try something crazy. I'm going to use a fourth level spell slot to target each one of the jailers with command and command them to flee. All right. Oh, I like it. <clears throat> it's it's bold. Up. There we go. One, uh, two, three. Four. Oh, Ooh, three got of, a the three of them just fly off. Then. There's only one looks at you. Like oh, fairly no, no, no. angry. Roll me initiative. Gotcha. May I use my portent die? Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna win either way. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to use it, so I mean, I can. I was saying I was going to use it, so that would put me at a 17. I'll be, be honest. 
well, it might be helpful if anybody else tries to come back, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And the jailer is first. He, uh, he lets go of her cheek, flies towards you with his eagle wings, and attempts to talon at you. But a six is a miss. That is his turn. Xerxes, what would you do in reply? Bonus action, I will cast Spiritual Weapon. Mm -hmm. And I will make it look like metal cutters. Alright. And I will summon them over here, though. Mm -hmm. So I can try at first to... I'm sorry, I was itching, so I moved my microphone away from myself. Nice. I would like to try to first break her, let's say, right arm free, so she can at least have a functioning appendage. All right, go ahead. And it's an roll and attack roll. Attack roll with... Oh, I didn't say what level, so it would be at the basic. I apologize. Mm -hmm. oh, you haven't rolled yet, so you're allowed to do a higher one if you want oh, well, to. I would... well, until you've rolled, uh, I don't mind uh, which one you use. Uh, I will just do it with a level three, then, if that's Nine. okay. Yes. Sixteen all hit, and it all hit with the force damage, the chain, and at that moment you feel the solar flare again. Charisma save. I'm within five feet of him. You may add the number. Three. Okay. You may add a three. It's not. So, a three added on to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 22 is still a failure. Oh. Fuck. As Xerxes, you disappear. You guys that are standing next to Xerxes see literally his face burning in radiant energy. How much radiant energy did he take? 16 uh, radiant damage. Would he completely disappear from that? He d disappears, or he wakes up from the dream at the, mor at the morning again when he finished a long rest, and he takes the 16 damage. So, uh, basically, after uh, this happens after an 8-hour sleep. Ugh. Ugh. And how much of that event would I have seen, DM? Uh, dep uh depends on how many spell slots you used to for... Uh, for I can uh, uh, would you? Uh, I would. No, I would say you'd see everything. Okay, good enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Before he disappeared, did it look like he did any? Uh, like the chains were breaking or something like that. It was too fast to register. Yeah. So basically, if we want to see that, we'll have to do another night of it to see. Uh huh. I have to go, I'm afraid. <laughs> I got not. No worries. Yeah. This was, this was intended yeah. as solo for Xerxes, because he, uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah. It's good. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to go soon. Gotcha, but, later. Uh, he can still use my spells and stuff. Uh, I, I would just follow in, um... What is your name? Grimlock's... Like, I'll wait till Grimlock makes contact, since he has a lot more spell slots than I do. And then cast my stuff, once Grimlock says. I can reveal about this information a bit as you experiment, as I'm gonna wrap up here. Is, uh, Xerxes, every single night you wake up in this, in this, uh, desert. For that entire for that entire downtime. Although you could have had nights where you just decided to do nothing. I think there were nights I literally just sat there, or I turned and walked the other direction, yeah. or I tried to figure out the landscape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is a endless uh, river going on and on. Uh, but I uh, drank the water, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yes. And one thing that you notice in the dream is uh, time is endless. Like, okay. sometimes you've spent several days in there, and 
just the next morning when you wake up. Okay. Uh, so, so have has Xerxes ever gotten uh, close enough to cast the knock and seeing if that worked? Um, he has attempted it, I assume, or he wanted to attempt it, and oh, yeah. the same thing happened again. Basically, he got spur he got burned by the sun. Mm -hmm. And I guess so the, the last... actually, I just reach a point of acceptance with it for a little bit until we can figure out more. Mm -hmm. One, the only question I guess I would have is because like, um, for this is just did that chain that he hit look like it was broken after he came back again, or would it just reset? It uh, seemed completely unharmed by his attack. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we get a I sort of groundhog day uh, for Xerxes only then uh, with dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The waking yeah. days progress, but yeah. at least it's giving yeah, him something to focus on. Yeah, and also for one thing as well, like Grimlock wouldn't do it every night, but he would try to inter like to watch the dreams just at times to see. And I guess the only one thing I would want to try DM just as like a small thing for information wise, if I tried to use telepathic communication with Xerxes while he's in the dream, could he hear me or no? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So basically, just know know that, you'd have a bit of company at some point where you'd yeah, have. I know that for you. Yeah, because yeah. there would be nights to like. I think it would eventually, because we have six months, it would eventually reach a time of, like, we're just gonna start trying different things, yeah. like mold her <laughs> to move her and different. Yeah, and one thing like, so one I thing I, that you've concluded in that time period that every time you cast a spell. On her chains or on mm -hmm. her, then it triggers the solar flare. Uh, so like if you spells... so like when you cast spells on yourself or do certain things on yourself, the bird people. It it seems fine. You can even cast spells on the bird people and it doesn't trigger. But when you cast spells on her specifically, that have an inkling of her being able to escape through them, okay. then the sun triggers. Okay. One specific thing. One night, I would want to try casting darkness. I know I can't see through it or anything, but I wanted to just testing the waters. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cast darkness on the on that area, and then sit and wait to see what they do. If I hear her crying out, then I know darkness doesn't affect them or different ideas. And I will even one night try talking to the bird people before they kill me. They uh, basically, if you attempt to talk to them, they uh, they basically yeah. reply with, "We don't have time for you. We must fulfill our purpose." Your purpose is to torture her. Yes, the prisoner must suffer. Then let me join in. They uh, don't reply, but just continue torturing her. Okay. I'm assuming that if I, I and that I won't do anything that night, but I will tell the other people they didn't say anything the night that I offered. I wasn't actually going to join in, but it's a possible way in the future to get close. We'll come up with something. It's it's almost comforting now just knowing that there's a normality to things. <laughs> uh, but you mentioned like you could use mold earth. It's like that's interesting. As long as I don't target her or the chains, things seem acceptable. Mm. And I did use a spell similar to what you've used before among Hotep, the command spell, and that seemed effective on quite a few of them. It, I think it's going to take a lot of creativity and luck and eventually just figure out if that's our purpose. Maybe this is just Pekka testing me. I there is something I would like to try some point, but there, I will have to talk to you about it, Xerxes, because it is a very there. There is very, one spell. Sorry, you haven't tried yet, that I think you should try, just for shits and giggles. That might work. Possibly. What spell is it? By <laughs> in large, in large, reduce. In large reduce, reduce. But to be fair, like I know to be fair, like I'm saying that because we glance at information, any spell that it can make her yeah. escape will cause the same thing. So if you large reduce would cause the same problem. No, what what yeah. I'm saying is it doesn't 
he never said that the spells just didn't affect her or the change at all. He just said that it will cause him to go away. If she no, can I, escape... Well, I understand that, but like he tried to use like Vortex Warp and that didn't work and that's a spell that only affects her and not necessarily... I you know, think everything. her imprisonment is tied to my sleep because as soon as I wake up and go to sleep again, everything is reset. So it's just... Let's not overly worry about it. I'll I'll do some thinking before we super, and I'll make sure that I don't go to bed super hurt. Uh, basically, during this time as well, like Grimlock will offer you healing and stuff if necessary before you go to bed, just Dang. to like keep you topped up. Um, also, Grimlock would like allude to you, like basically, like, there is a thing we could possibly do that could, because if I could get in there, it would help, but I don't know how. Yeah, we'll see, we'll have to check in about that, but I've got an idea for it, and we'll leave it at that for now because it, you know that we're done basically. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we have time for this. Yeah, no, that's the no, well, that's where.